Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Third Murder, a Japanese drama mystery from 2017 that was directed by Hirokazu Kurita. Now shortly after his release from 30 years in prison, twice convicted killer Takashi Mizumi, played by Koji Akusho, is arrested again on suspicion of committing yet another murder. So he immediately confesses to killing his boss at the food factory from where he was recently fired. But his defense attorney, played by Masaharu Fukuyama, is having doubts about what really happened. So the most important thing that I need to communicate in this review is how this movie works. You know, this is not a showy, in-your-face mystery that throws crazy twists at you from left and right. It begins very simplistically but gradually adds complexity and uncertainty in a very methodical, deliberate manner. You know, the way it adds layers of depth is quite natural and effective from a storytelling standpoint. So, for example, Koji Akusho's character, you know, immediately confesses to this crime, but what he says changes every time he's interviewed, which could mean that he's either lying or perhaps misremembering what actually happened. Now, in addition to that, we have some side characters who may be lying about their relationship to the suspected murderer. And if so, what would be their motive for such lies? You know what I'm saying? Or are they lying at all? So the details and nuances of dialogue are what make this movie really interesting. So you have to watch this in a very alert state of mind and really absorb everything that's being discussed between the characters. You know, it's not overly complicated or anything like that. But a lot of stuff is going to go over your head if you're not paying full attention to what's happening. There are a few moments that I thought were truthful at first. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, all right, that's what happened. But then I began to like doubt myself a little bit later and question whether or not they were factual. So that's kind of what, how, this, how this works here. In addition, there are a few short sequences that are played in a dreamlike manner, which makes you think about how to interpret them. But they're, you know, they're only a few minutes total of the, of the total runtime. And that's exactly what the third murder does. You know, it makes you think, and it kind of keeps you off balance a little bit. Now, outside of the mystery component, there is some social commentary here as well. One of the topics it explores is the judicial uh, system in Japan and the philosophy that judges, prosecutors, and defense attorneys have when participating in court proceedings. Uh, there's some commentary on how Japanese people handle unpleasant events, as well as fatherhood and paternal relationships with uh, daughters. Some of this content is portrayed by mirroring the murder suspect and the defense attorney in kind of interesting ways. Performances by everyone, top notch. In addition to Koji Akusho and Masaharu Fukuyama, Suzu Hirose earns another notch in her young acting career. She's not even 20 years old. But she's already had three really good performances on her resume with Our Little Sister, Rage, and now The Third Murder. So it's pretty solid. This is an exciting young actress who has a great career ahead of her. And at this point, you can make a strong case that Hirokazu Kurita is one of the most reliable directors in the entire world. I still have yet to see a single film from this guy that I have emphatically disliked. If you're watching this video and you're not familiar with this man's films, you have to check some of his stuff out. You know, his earlier titles like Mabarossi, Afterlife, and Distance have kind of a glacially paced art house feel to them. So you may want to start with, uh, you may want to explore him in a reverse chronological order. You know, maybe start with two of his more recent entries like uh, Our Little Sister or Like Father, Like Son, both of which are fantastic. And then you can move to his stuff from like the 2000s, like Still Walking, Hana, and Nobody Knows, and then move on from there. I mean, this guy is just money, though. Really good director. Now, with regard to the third murder, the only thing that I would warn viewers about is that this is a deliberately paced film that demands your complete attention, and it's slightly over two hours long. So it's, bit, it's a bit of a long sit here. All right, so just go into that expecting that. But it's definitely worth watching. It's a very good film. And it's currently available on Region 3 DVD with English subtitles. That's the Hong Kong release. And as always, I'll see you next time.